It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Mixon as they start on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Play action. It's Burrow. He'll buy some time right. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25. A touchback. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They begin with a run by Mixon. Room here to run. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Back to Mixon on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. He'll get it inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. teammate Chase for a Bengal first. Back to throw. And that'll be caught. Touchdown Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So 
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 34. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and... Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. This one into the hands of Crowder downfield. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one good for 37 yards. Look, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On play action, Allen. Man open here is Crowder. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. 7-7, our score after one. Second and 11 now. Allen off the play fake. 
And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Well, in my time in football, I've yet to see a playbook that draws up offensive plays designed to lose yardage. A running play loses yardage on first down. They try and throw it, take a sack on second down. What can the offensive coordinator come up with here on third down? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Jamison Crowder, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills have moved out in front. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Bass on for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Brandon Wilson now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. 52 yards rushing for him now in the ball game, And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Here we go, here we go. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. 11, 11. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Mixon with a first down carry. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. They go play action with Burrow. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they start the tight end on the left side of formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 23 yards, the final tally.
Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. timeout here as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. here and a flip right over the top. Gun, gun. Back at the gun. two now. Here's second and goal. They snapped that at one. Now it's Burrow. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jair Elam makes a pick. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Again from the 20 after the incompletion, here's second and 10. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TV. Well, in a tight game like this, that could be an incredibly important pick six, CD. And remember, it cancels out the one that the opposition had earlier in this ball game. You're right about that, partner, because each side came up with plays to swing the momentum their way. Still plenty of time left for either team to come through with a win, though. Can someone else make a similar play and win it for their club? This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Takes it at the 7. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. He's got a man complete. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The player is answered. How did they get that done? This is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. 
As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And a short kick taken at about the 16. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. And the Bengals are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills will take over possession here up at the 44. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. And Elaine slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Steps away to his left. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. It's on the ground, and the Bengals grab it. And this one will be returned to right around the 30. You know, they keep bailing you out every chance they get, right? It's almost comical with this game. <laughs> yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. 
And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Burrow on play action. Steps away. Quick reaction. Like I said, they keep bailing you out every chance they get. to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close you are watching the nfl on ea sports here we go here we go on second down here's mixon That he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 87 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They will throw on first down with Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix him. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. Flush to his right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job of improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. He's going to let this one go deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's another first down and a big gainer there, 33 yards. A give up the middle to Singletary. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's Bill's football here as we get you reset they've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line from the 44 Allen on the catch it's Crowder and he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals 24 yard line a good pick up there 20 yards and these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Singletary again. 
And they'll get him down right around the 16. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. handoff it's Singletary and he is going to lose yardage here officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 and now with six seconds remaining they're going to burn their final timeout Second down, here's a run with Singletary. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop. 